For a number of years I have organized our family's Christmas gift exchange. I've always wanted to automate the process, but due to time constraints and inspiration have just done it manually. Now I think I finally have the solution. But before we begin, there's one constraint on this list, and that's that members of an immediate family will not give to each other, but across families. I think you'll see what I mean in a few moments. I'll do the shuffling using Microsoft Excel, and I chose Excel because it seems most people with computers have it or a variation. So without further ado, let's jump into Excel. Okay, you can see here I have four different families. And so I'm going to copy this list, so we have a before and after, and I'll copy it down here. Next, I'll insert a blank line between families. Next, I'm going to use Excel's random number function to create a random number between 0 and 1. I'll copy this over, and I'm going to copy as far over as we have people. So Jack is the farthest right person, so therefore I'll copy over that far. If we added more people because of births or marriages or whatever, we just add more columns over here, so this is quite flexible. So I'm going to copy this row here to here, here, and here. Now I'm going to highlight two rows, and I'll go up to Data, Sort, and I'm going to change the option left to right, and I'm going to sort in the second one of the rows, 8, which has the numbers. You can see here now that Grandfather started out in the first position, now he's in the last position because he was shuffled. So I'll repeat this sort for the next three sets of rows. the final set. Now I'd also like to do a sort such that man and grandfather are not always at the top list, but that these lists can also be uh, randomized also. So in column I, in my case, I'll put another random function. And I'll copy that down. Now I'm going to highlight all, the whole, all of the cells. And I'll go to do another sort, but this time I'll do a sort top to bottom. I'm going to sort on the new column I chose, column I. Now I will hide the rows, or delete the rows that have numbers in them so that we can just see the people's names. And then I'm going to draw, I'm going to use this squiggly line to show how this works. So Scott gives to Molly to Neil, who gives to Rob, Rob and like this. And then Tim will hopefully give to Scott. To repeat what we've just done here, we entered names, each family in a separate row. We inserted a blank row between families. We filled in the blank rows using the random function. We highlighted two rows at a time and did a data sort left to right. We repeat this for all family rows. In a blank column to the right of the grid, we filled in the column using the random function one more time. And this time we, did a, we highlighted all the cells and we did a data sort top to bottom. We then can determine our shuffled pattern top to bottom, left to right. This idea can be used for families, Secret Santa's, birthday clubs, or whatever you like. I hope you like my presentation. Thanks for watching.